Well, I've been lecturing on college campuses for more than 20 years, and I've seen a lot of hijinks, but nothing like what's happening today. Safe space, fainting couch feminists are taking over, and their own professors find them scary. That's coming up next on The Factual Feminist. Consider what happened to Professor Laura Kipnis at Northwestern University. Well, she wrote an essay making light of trigger warnings and safe spacers. Well, two graduate students found her views terrifying, and they filed Title IX harassment charges against her. And her university, apparently intimidated by these grad students, took the charges seriously. The university carried out a formal investigation of the professor and her offending essay. Well, Title IX was once a common sense law about gender fairness in education. Today, it's being weaponized for use by fainting couch feminists who see the world as a battle between fragile maidens and evil predators. Well, Vox recently published an article by a professor entitled something like, I'm a liberal professor and my liberal students terrify me. They terrify him, as he explains, because hurting a student's feelings, even in the course of instruction that is absolutely appropriate and respectful, that can get a teacher into serious trouble. Well, I recently encountered these hypersensitive fainty couch feminists at Oberlin College and Georgetown University. I visited both campuses to give talks on the need to reform feminism and the need to correct exaggerated victim statistics. Now, in the past, activist students who disagreed with me came to my lectures to spar and debate. Well, today they issue trigger warnings and accuse me of giving them PTSD. At both Oberlin and Georgetown, activists organized safe spaces where students could flee if they were panicked by my arguments. <laughs> And, and at Oberlin, 35 students and a therapy dog sought refuge in a safe room. And I feel badly about triggering a dog. But still, there were paranoid flyers festooned on the walls. The first three rows of the lecture hall, hall were filled with students who'd put duct tape, red duct tape, on their mouths. And <laughs> they sat there as I, as I spoke. At Georgetown, the editorial board of the school newspaper, the Hoya, they denounced my lecture as harmful and not a conversation that students should be having. Well, who are they to determine what dialogue, what conversation students should have? But they said that, you know, they, they thought students should focus on creating safe space for survivors. Imagine being an untenured professor at Georgetown. By the way, officials at both Oberlin and Georgetown were so alarmed by the frantic Facebook postings that were there before my, my visit to campus, they assigned armed guards to protect me from the safe spacers. Well, at this moment, the fainting couchers and the safe spacers are everywhere on college campuses, and they're getting their way. University and college officials, afraid of running afoul of Title IX, are quietly amending the U.S. Constitution. The First Amendment is being replaced by a woman's right not to be made uncomfortable. Due process is being treated as a barrier to justice rather than its essence. Armies of gender apparatchiks are monitoring and policing speech, ideas, humor, sexuality. Since the time of Socrates, education has been synonymous with debate, inquiry, challenge. I mean, if universities replace the ideals of free inquiry and critical thinking with safety, they will have lost their reason for being. Now, all of this psychodrama is massively embarrassing to women, to feminism. Now, there are some who say that these new crusaders are, are just a feisty generation that we should admire because they're refusing to put up with gender injustice. Well, I don't see these safe space feminists as all that admirable, and I don't believe they're taking us to some bright new future where women are going to be secure and respected. This is a reactionary movement that is taking us back to a time when women were viewed as delicate flowers. This is fainting couch feminism and hysteria over sexual contact that's going to do little to help genuine victims of sexual violence. And it's just shutting down dialogue. That's undermining essential principles of our civilization. Well, let me know in the comments what you think about the state of freedom on campus. And if you feel safe about doing it, please follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Subscribe to the series. And I hope I haven't triggered anyone out there, especially one of your pets. Thank you for watching The Factual Feminist.